Right. Okay. Hey, everybody, and welcome to gmail.com. My name is Simone, and okay. this is George, and this is where we watch movies <laughs> and television. LA Confidential, voted for by our patrons. Um, yeah. Very sexy poster, oh? aside from one person. So, Kim Basinger in with like luscious blonde hair and like a very cleavagey uh, dress. Okay. And then um, behind her is like Hollywood, like the Hollywood sign on the hills and, and the palm Ooh. trees and stuff like that. Um, and then the second largest person on the poster is Kevin. I'm going to try to separate his character from the actual person's crime, Spacey. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and then behind that is Guy Pierce, And then it also says Danny DeVito and Russell Crowe, but they're not on the poster. Oh, oh no, Danny DeVito's tiny in the corner. Okay. <laughs> usually is <laughs> is it like hollywood gangster stuff Do, does hollywood that's, that's have gangsters my guess i mean they definitely did let's find out shall we <laughs> sure let's do it <laughs> before i press play quick reminder um please like and subscribe also mm -hmm. check out our t-shirts done by jay mccurns you can go find them on our merch shop thingy you got to Come to Los Angeles. <laughs> there are jobs aplenty, and land is cheap. Life is good in Los Angeles. <laughs> land is cheap in L.A. <laughs> in the hit show Badge of Honor, the L.A. cops walk on water. Mickey sees the head of organized crime in these parts. He runs dope. It's a black eye for the image of Los Angeles. But all is not well. Sending Mickey up has created a vacuum, and it's only a matter of time before someone with balls of brass tries to fill it. On the QT and very hush, hush. Ooh. Parole violation assault arising from a family dispute. He won't be here, but they'll see him. What did he say? He won't be here, but you'll see him? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. You touch her again. I'll have you violated on a kitty raper beef. Merry Christmas, man. Let's go, bud. Yeah, so we <laughs> immediately like him. <laughs> yeah. Jack Vincent. Yeah. May I have this dance? Of course. Yeah, we did a piece last year on Janu Dykes in Hollywood. Her name got mentioned. A friend of mine just sold some reefer to Matt Reynolds. <laughs> reefer. <laughs> two 20s for two patrolmen and a dime for the watch commander at Hollywood Station. Once you whet the public's appetite for the truth, the sky's the limit. Why not make a mark somewhere else? Why become a cop, Ed? Married men have Christmas Eve off. That's a good lead for the story. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Hold Christmas. on there, lads. Okay. So heroic cop on the street, young sergeant. Christmas to you. Mm -hmm. um, sleazy cop on TV? Yeah. And then an actor cop. Yeah. Would you be willing to plant corroborative evidence on a suspect you knew to be guilty? Would you be willing to shoot a hardened criminal in the back in order to offset the chance that some lawyer... No. ...at least get rid of the glasses? I can't think of a single man in the bureau who wears them. Oh, the past. Hmm. Guy Pierce... No, is it Guy Pierce? Yeah. Yeah, he's also a hero cop, but more of an idealist then. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a hell of a party, win. I'll be right with you. I'm not saying what he believes in is wrong. It's correct. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't seem to be the world that he's in. Mm -hmm. See what he wants, Buzz. Ah! I got a license for that. Now keep your head down and stay there. You got the wrong idea, mister. I'm fine. But it's nice to know you care. Cosmetic surgery? Mm. Does it give you black eyes like that, though? You get there's bruising, I've heard. Yeah. Drive safely. Okay. They're sitting in the dark, goofing on the Christmas tree. Bud lights are yours in my eyes. Big V, consider it done. You hear that? Chip. Wait, what are they trying to do? What? No. Oh my god. Nice Christmas gift, won't it? Right, Tammy. Jesus. Is it for the reefer or whatever? Oh, right. Yeah, movie premiere pot bust. Yeah, he's a cop who's completely sold out. Yeah. Celebrity crime stopper Jack Vincennes. Oh, you to our humble you station now. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Hey, you know me, I'm keeping the streets safe. Well, it's a gratuity from Hush Hush magazine, you know, buy yourself a new pair of loafers. Whoa. Everyone's gonna like Spacey's cop better, right, in the police station because he makes them look good. Mm. Whereas they're worried about the guy who doesn't take bribes. Helenowski lost an eye and they're reading Brown his last rights. We brought the mm -hmm. Mexicans in. Oh. 
Oh god. Oh my god. Hey Stensland, the party's upstairs. Oh god. Christmas Eve, I've just got a few more questions for the kids. Oh my god. You better put a leash on your partner before he kills somebody. This is for ours, Poncho! <laughs> Game stop! You're gonna yeah! Game stop! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god. Uh. Hey! Uh. Jesus. You're all going in my report. Let's go, actually. Okay, what the hell? What is oh up with- Oh my god. Yikes, man. And that makes the news. You and Officer Stenslin brought the liquor to the station. Sir, I won't testify against my partner or anyone else. And then maybe also everyone else who was down there? <laughs> Except for him. him. <laughs> yeah. The only one who tried to stop it. That's because they think silence and integrity are the same thing. The public will expect the department to protect its own and sweep this under the carpet. Richard Stensland and Bud White, your new LAPD, will not tolerate officers who think they're above the law. He's just a man who can answer yes to those questions I've asked you from time to time. I think it would look better if we had a corroborative witness. A veteran like Vincennes might be willing to admit his own culpability. But he'd never ran out a fellow officer. He's gonna get the whole department turn on him. Mm-hmm. I mean, they already have. But are you truly prepared to be despised within the department? Yes, sir, I am. I mean, I, I admire his his fortitude mm -hmm. to be despised. And I, yeah. Do the right thing. People will mm -hmm. hate you, but do the right thing. But we have a stellar witness who will name names and also testify that you get This back. guy, the guy talking right now, I will never really fully trust him because of the character he plays in Alias. A brief suspension followed by a temporary transfer from narcotics to vice. <laughs> he doesn't want to lose the show. The show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Badge of honor, Vincennes. The grand jury will hear your testimony tomorrow. Hmm. Dismiss, Vincennes. Ace him at the grand jury tomorrow, son. And Ed, lose the glasses. I feel like Ed's not going to survive this movie. Oh... I'm just doing my duty. Come on, you're playing an angle here, college boy. Next to you, I'm clean and smart. It's making me think of Police Academy. I know it's a comedy, but like, you know how at the end there, when the good cops needed rescue and no one came for them? Mm hmm That's what I'm thinking. Particularly your adherence to violence as a necessary adjunct to the job. <laughs> I need you for an assignment the Chief's given me the go-ahead on. Meet Tony Brancato and Anthony Trombino. I love the Danny DeVito narration and the typewriter. <laughs> Baby, time to get the <sighs> Two-man triggers are punching the tickets on the mixter's muscle. And the out-of-town criminal element from filling the void left by Mickey's absence. With Mickey Cohen in prison, Los Angeles is organized crime-free. Bang, bang, they're ready to slice you make a cone's lieutenants. I mean, tell me, what do you want? Oh, look at that, the great jerk-off case of 1953. Maybe you should have thought of that before bloody Christmas. <laughs> Dismiss, oh. gentlemen. Hmm. There was a time when stuff like that is illegal, right? Like, indecency or whatever it was. Yeah. Like having pornography or BDSM, I guess. I thought it was, like, trafficking or something, but... I, I mean, it might be whatever both, you but... Desire. You grab a reverse directory and uh, shag a name and address for me, Crestview 2239. Something juicy for the Sidster? Track and porn. Arty, high class stuff. You know, I want to do an all hophead issue. You know, Schwartz and Jazz. Tough break, Stins. Good man. We're going to miss you, man. I got a couple hours before I have to be at the victory. Come on and buy you a drink. Bring check, come on, partner. Nah, I got a hot date. Yeah. It's confidential. LA. LA, confidential. <laughs> we got there at the same time. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'll walk down with you. Division, the Night Owl Coffee Shop. I got it. Oh my god. Oh, holy. Looks like the cook drew a handgun and set it off. The rest were killed in the men's room. We got an idea on one of the victims. It's Dick Stenslin. Whoa. Oh. You know, when I first saw her, I thought she was Rita Hayward. Jesus. Oh, was he a dirty cop? The guy at the register pulled a 38, so they killed him. Lieutenant, we're ready with that Yikes. night owl ID. Yeah, so what happened with the whole, like, bloody Christmas thing? He was on trial for... Is this your daughter, Mrs. Lightyear? Something. So, yeah, hell of a way to avoid jail time is getting, getting got. But my Susan was a blonde, not a redhead. 
This is a heinous crime that requires swift resolution. We have rubber glove smears on the register and preliminary forensics strongly tend. DMV has come up with a registration list of Merck Coops. Gentlemen, just go out and get them. Use all necessary force. You take them. I got something I gotta do. Christ, I don't know. What if one of these names? That's the same sort of thing that got you in trouble last time. I need an address on a customer of yours. Her name is Lynn. Oh, he's soliciting for police charities. Go on down to the driveway. We'll talk there. I have a theory. Mm-hmm. Just based on how the movie opened with uh, DeVito's narration. Yeah. I'm guessing there's something to do with, like... What can I do for you? Young woman with ideals of being a star coming here, getting taken advantage of, turned into prostitution. Mm hmm Trafficked. How did you find me? Nick's liquor. This is where Lynn Bracken's booze bills go. I wish I could send my booze bills somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Any takers, Paige? <laughs> Lefferts looked beat up Christmas Eve, but didn't act it. How come? I think she'd been hit in the face with a tennis racket. Are you concerned about criminal matters peripheral to the Night Owl murders? Oh, well, there's Gardner, Russell, Monroe, Turner. I use girls that look like movie stars. Sometimes I employ a plastic surgeon. Oh. Okay. Now I sense you're on your best behavior, but that's all I'm going to tell you. I wonder when, like, the first plastic surgery occurred. Desire. Like, not to conceal a wound, like, from World War One and Two, right? Like, actually, just, I want to look like someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Also, did he just say, whatever you desire, that's, like, the, on the, yeah, that was on the thing? Yeah, that's his thing, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. he's, he's not hiding the fact that he runs the place. Oh, okay. Something very important has come up, and you have to go, but... Pierce called. He told me what happened to Sue. Everything all right, doll? LAPD shit, or get the fuck out of here, or I'll call your <laughs> wife to come get you. <laughs> or I'll call your wife to come get you. <laughs> so earlier in the jail cell, as soon as the one of the people said something about his mom, yeah. he immediately reacted. So I'm guessing that's his why mom it was abused. Domestic abuse, yeah. Yeah. I was friendly with Sue Lefferts, yep. but we weren't friends. So we're cooperating. So cooperate, Miss Bracken. Why was Susan Leffert to the night owl? Sue came on a bus with dreams of Hollywood, and this is how they turned out. You have a thing for helping women, don't you, Officer White? You're the first man in five years who didn't tell me I look like Veronica Lake inside of a minute. He had you cut to look like Veronica Lake. I'm really a brunette, but the rest is me. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, it's these two. At least it's, it'll go better than the other. Mm -hmm. You got a brother up in Folsom, I know, because I put him there. Till 1970. He's bad, so I'll just tell you. Sugar Ray Collins. Don't know about shotguns, but he gets his thrills killing dogs. Oh. Jesus. The shot, it's like, you know, it's just them two, but the background, all like the cars are old too. Like, it's. Mm hmm. Good job, movie. <laughs> Badge of honor, here I come. Hey, fuck you, Vincent. This is our collar. Quiet. How many ways in? Only one. Up the stairs. No! Oh! Don't move! Back, back, back! Back! Yeah, you don't even know if it's these guys. Can't yeah. Shoot. That's... Shut up! Put your hands behind you! Ah! Man, I can't believe he was quick enough to, like, move the gun so that... It... Yeah. It would... He was expecting it, I'm getting... Oh, Maybe. yeah. These guys killed Stensley. <laughs> Did they, though? That's the problem. Like, are they going to just try to make it fit? Mm-hmm. Are you sure Golden Boy is up to the task, Cap? Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. Well, why do you keep asking me about Lewis? I mean, his business is his business. You couldn't do the time, so you got yourself a big white boy to look after you. Lewis gave it up to see this, man. And I was the fucking boy. Oh. Ah. Uh... I heard you like to shoot dogs. Dogs got no reason to live. Yeesh. Jesus. A neighbor said she saw you throwing clothes in the backyard incinerator. Tell me one more thing about Jones and Fontaine. Where do they get their drugs? Roland Navarin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah. Give Jones the newspaper. I want him primed. <coughs> Son, six people are dead. And someone has to pay for it. <coughs> Said at Casitas, you took it up the ass. I didn't kill nobody! Jeez, the vein in his forehead is yeah. crazy. I didn't mean to hurt her. Maybe she's okay. They were dead when you left them. <laughs> I just wanted to lose my cherry. She don't die, so I don't die. Lewis, you 
Yeah, they didn't. They're talking about something entirely oh. different. Oh. <laughs> they just admitted. Yeah, it's something else. Yeah. Paper shit ain't shit. Where's the girl Fontaine's talking about? Did you kill her? If that girl is still alive, she's the only chance you've got. I think she's alive. You think? Oh man. It's an essay. Yeah. I, we can't say the word, YouTube. Don't tell me where she is. Oh, oh and then, oh my God. Oh no. What? Oh, he's gonna play Russian roulette with him. What? Down is the girl. Oh. Six that was two, three. Oh, brown corn house upstairs. Okay, well. They got the wrong people for the massacre, but they still got somebody. Yeah. For a different crime, but yeah. still awful. So it's not a waste of time, which is no, good. No, no, no. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Ah, okay, he's making it, yeah. Oh god, that's so messed up. Poor woman. Why don't you go after criminals for a change instead of cops? Stenzlin got what he deserved and so will you. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's too far. Yeah. Stenzlin was just wrong place, wrong time. But perhaps you should stay away from him altogether. The girl in the hospital made a statement. Three jigs left her at midnight. Plenty of time to beat the night owl by one. Is there something up, Lieutenant? I need some backup. Come on. No, I don't think it's those three guys, right? No. Because when they brought the newspaper in about the massacre, that guy was like, the hell's this? Yeah, 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 yeah. But maybe there's a connection with, like, the, the drugs and who's supplying the drugs and who's doing yeah. other murders. You're under arrest. Don't shoot, man! Don't shoot! You don't shoot! Oh! Oh, oh, my, god. God. oh my god! Oh my god! That cop is, like, Prespaluski. Like, mm. every little thing makes him so on the edge and jumpy. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? Shotgun head. Oh, now he has everyone's respect. <sighs> but I, but they didn't do the Night Owl stuff. Well, they never admitted it, so they just pinned it on them, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Spectacular bravery in the line of duty. Hey, Big Jack! <laughs> Back! <laughs> hey. At what hmm. point does it turn into stalking? I mean, it, already? <laughs> oh, God. What? I'm pretty sure that girl with the curly hair is supposed to be Shirley Temple. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like every night he goes to her place and like watches her. Personal feelings mixing in with the job. Hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's been none... Nothing but that, but now yeah. it's like, Bud. Bud. Does Bud White drink Bud Light? <laughs> <laughs> the one room that's not for clients. Now let's get a moral man re-elected. District Attorney Ellis Lowe would like to say a few words. <laughs> On each issue affected... Good to see you back, Boychick. Remember Matt Reynolds, Christmas Eve, the movie premiere Pot mm. Bust? Hey, Matt. Jesus. Me. Me. Don't bring him. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who arrested him ruined his career. Hey, don't. No. Oh, I'm okay. How are you? Whatever you desire. Dope hookers that look like movie stars. Oh, shit. He got the name. Came out to LA. This isn't exactly where I saw myself ending up. And Jack here's got connections with, with Badge of Honor. I, I smell a comeback, don't you, Jack? Wait, did he mean literally? Go, go. Just go on over there and pretend it's an acting job. It's oh, like God. Okay. Showbiz. All right. Showbiz. That's it. Yeah. If Reynolds works his charge, which I know he will, they'll be at the Hollywood Center Motel. Yikes. They. Wow. Making him a, a catamite. As though the badge of honor <laughs> would touch that guy with a 10 foot pole. <gasps> and I guess in the 50s. Uh, it's also illegal, right? Like, altogether, like, sodomy laws or something? Yeah, yeah. The future's brighter. <laughs> so he's just gonna show up early and warn them. Come on, kid. You don't have to oh, do this shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. And he's just staring right at him. Mm-hmm. In your statement, you said they left you at midnight. I don't know what time they left me. I wanted them dead. So, you see your hero, Miss Soto? He's getting a moral dilemma now. 
the kind of question that the captain asked him, right? Are you gonna reveal the fact that the victim's mm-hmm. statement is not exactly true mm-hmm. and ruin your own thing? And going back in a couple of years, open up a dress shop. I feel like Exley is gonna be like he he he'd want to get the right people. I'm sorry, it's none of my he business. into the radiator. I watched him beat my mother to death with a tire iron. Three days before a truant officer found us. Oh, it's all strong arm sitting duck stuff. Whoever killed Stensland is still around. I know it in here. Okay, so maybe him and Exley are going to finally agree on something together. Mm-hmm. Just the guy they bring in to scare the other guy shitless. You found Patchett. You found me. Don't know if you read the papers, but that case is closed. We got three shotguns taken from the suspects, which match the strike marks on the shell case. Could it be that the actual murderers just tossed the guns there or something? Mm-hmm. Did they hit anyone else? No, but he was a cop. He probably tried to do something. Two of the victims were women, right? Yeah. Patty DeLuca, the night shift waitress, and a Susan Lefferts. Yeah, Leffert was on a date with Sten- Stenslin. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Lefferts? I'm Officer White, LAPD. Old Mrs. Jensen next door said she thought she saw Susie's boyfriend and another man and she heard a ruckus. And then Mrs. Jensen said they kept going under the house. Oh my God. And Stenzel, he's the guy that hit her. Right? Oh no, it was rhinoplasty. Mm. Oh, don't Uh-oh. move that. Uh oh. My Susie was a good girl. She was. Oh, it's a body. Why, why, why? third man right it was a third person yeah and she, the old lady doesn't know what it is she just thinks it's a stench so she blocked it oh That's my god <laughs> oh my god 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 oh got one with the los angeles police department unemployed actor had frankfurter french fries alcohol and sperm bud white grilled me on it this morning uh-huh uh-huh you know He's not as dumb as I thought. Uh, did he say where he was going after he talked to you? Let my daughter rest in peace. All he found was rodents. <laughs> oh shit, and he's actually bringing it in. Need an idea yeah, yeah, as yeah. soon as possible. You talk only to me on this one. Oh, and and uh, Bud took the, took the um yeah, yeah, the wallet. Yeah. Why in the world do you want to go digging any deeper into the night owl killings? Rolo Tomasi. And he shot my father six times and got away clean. Rolo Tomasi is the reason I became a cop. I just want to solve this thing. Night Owl was solved. The case your boys on homicide don't care about. They think it's just another Hollywood homicide. Okay. Yeah, so I think that the 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 guy that they sent the young Hollywood guy to go after is mm-hmm. actually also crooked. That's all I got so far. What do you mean by crooked, though? I don't, I don't know, like working with the people who are killing all the people. Johnny Stampanato. Officer Wendell White. Oh. Oh. What do I get if I give you your balls back, you wop cocks? Oh, I thought he grabbed his, like, hand. <laughs> and? Oh, got nothing. He skipped out. Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Yeah, they're going to think he's a customer. Yeah. Maybe White's not so dumb after all. I think your case and my case are somehow connected. It's Fleur de Lee again. Reynolds, the kid that got killed, was involved. So is Pierce Patchett. Maybe. Now that you mentioned it, I'm get. Well, I'm wondering if the kid that got his throat slit mm-hmm. was he the male side of the prostitution ring, right? That's what I kind of thought. Yeah, Academy. Yeah, to to make it look like male actors. Mm-hmm. Since when do two-bit hoods and hookers give out autographs? A hooker cut to look like Lana Turner is still a hooker. She is Lana Turner. What? (laughs) (laughs) That's kind of funny. (laughs) That is really funny. (laughs) This is Exley. The coroner wants to talk to you, Lieutenant. He says he has your ID. I'm going to find out why Patchett has her seeing Bud White. You get the girl, I get the corner. <laughs> okay, so... So, Patchett doesn't know, now. well, now knows that... Exactly, they're dating. And it's not okay. You got that ID for me? Thank God for dental records. Stiff used to be a cop, Leland Meeks. Just the facts, Jack. Just the facts. 
<laughs> is that like a quote from something? The, the show. <laughs> oh, right. Pierce Patchett made you, didn't he? Taught you how to dress, talk. And you forget one thing, Lieutenant. Pierce also taught me how to fuck. What makes you think I'm not seeing Bud because I want to? <laughs> That's not a very clear way to answer that. I see Bud for all the ways he's different from you. Don't underestimate me, Miss Bracken. Stop talking about Bud White. What the hell? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now I understand why she's doing it, but why did he? Yeah. Is it just like... He's She's that alluring? Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I get it. It's Kim. Or, oh, you know what it is? I, I'm guessing it's because, like, everybody always kind of talks down to him and talk about how he's weak and mm. not a man, so on and so forth, right? Is it that? Like an uh, ego thing? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll yeah. show you. A blackmail scam. Patchett had Sid Hudgens photographing prominent businessmen with hookers. You were the supervising officer on that case, and I was wondering if you remember anything about it. You're a narco, Jack, not homicide. Buzz Meeks and Dick Stenzel. What does actually make of all this? No, I haven't told him yet. Oh. oh. What the f Crooked, 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 crooked everywhere. Have you a valediction, boyo? Rollo. Tomasi. Oh my god. Like the moment he heard him say he hasn't told anyone yet. Shit. Sergeant Vincennes was killed by a 32 slug to the heart. I want two man teams to scour that entire neighborhood. Oh hell. We're trying to run down a lead on an associate of Vincennes. What's the name? Rolo Tomasi? <gasps> oh shit! You yes! Did Vincennes mention him? Probably nothing. Still, keep your eyes open. Maybe. That is amazing. Oh, that is a brilliant I have last goosebumps. Few. I yeah. have goosebumps. <laughs> and now you can. Yeah, no one else would know. And I had such grand plans for your future. What plans? We're gonna brace a man who may know who killed Jack Vincennes. The next cop, Leland Buzz Meeks. This is Sid Hutchins. I'm willing oh, to cooperate. No. There's no need to tie me down. Yeah. Eh, he's kind of scummy too. <laughs> well, yeah, he's but like, really I don't want to see him get the shit beat out of him. Okay, okay, so we work together. Patch it. You think he had something to do with Vincennes getting iced? My Everybody knows that Patch is worth a boatload of greenbacks. All in all, a powerful behind the scenes stranger. Primo tail fixed up to look like movie stars. Blackmail shit in my car, in the trunk, under the- Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, that's- I mean, to photograph this cop screwing this gorgeous slut. Oh my god. Lady. And he thinks it's him. He thinks it's him. Until he sees the photos, it's gonna mm -hmm. turn him against- Yeah, Excellent. that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh shit. shit! 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 Oh no! Cause we need them to work together. I know the last thing we need is him and Exley going against each other. And that's exactly what he wanted. It's to turn. And you, learn to pull your punches oh. a little better. Jesus. It was gonna cuff. Staged. Oh no, he's gonna kill. He's him. gonna. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. We had a deal. You and me and Patchett, we're a team. We're from. There you go. Oh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Hush, hush. What about the daily report books? If we still have them, they'd be buried somewhere in the basement. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, no. Is he going to turn into his father? Oh. He's going to he's gonna turn into what he hates the most, isn't he? Was it his dad or just... Or whatever the guy. At, at, whatever. He's going to mm. turn into what he hates the most, right? I want to know what happened with Exley. No! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew it. And then he's gonna come kill him. Wait. Wait, I just thought of something. What, 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 what? It said Meeks and, and Stensland. Yeah? And they both had the day off at the same time. They, they are the guys going around killing everybody. Or they were. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, talk it out, talk it out, Jack. talk it out. He wants you to kill me. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Can he listen? That's the thing. Shit! Oh, 
Yeah, his blood is up, it doesn't... It also doesn't change the fact that Exley fell for the trap to begin with. No, no, that's shitty, but everyone just okay, calm okay, okay. down. Stan's not pretend that he didn't know Meeks or her the night that I met. The first guys to the Mercury Coop were Bruning and Carlisle. Hmm. They planted the shotguns. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's why they were there. Holy shit. Let's go see Alice Lowe. Find out what the district attorney knows. Oh, Ooh. DA, not DEA. <laughs> I've been <Yeah>. saying DEA. <laughs> I don't think there is a DEA yet back then. <laughs> I have no idea. Dudley Smith is a highly decorated member of this police department. I'm not going to smear his and Pierce Patchett's name without having... Without what? I have a press conference for Jack Vincennes that I have to prepare for. Come on, don't pull that good cop, bad cop crap. I practically invented it. Smash his face into the glass. He's Every so day. focused. Oh, yeah, there you go. They just won't come on the bus, that's all. Oh, my God! I, I wouldn't play ball till they set me up. Does he have a good enough grip on his leg? Oh, Jesus! Help me out! Holy shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Taking over the racket. Wow! The boss cop becoming the crime lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Not gonna lie, seeing Sloane sniveling is very cathartic. <laughs> See, these two work together is awesome. The brain <laughs> and the brawn. Mm -hmm. Says he killed Jack because Jack had figured out a pornography scam. Oh my Patrick god. Mm. Lynn. Oh, oh no. Shit. No. No one sees her unless I okay it. Somebody worked her over. Remember, bud, we need evidence. Somebody beat him to death and stole a bunch of files. Must have dug up garbage on the wrong guy. Yeah. Oh. Dispatch got a call for you. Lieutenant actually wants you to meet him at the Victory Motel. Wow, this movie is so much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Because, like, based on the poster, I thought it was just going to be around, um, Lynn. Mm. Like, if she was a victim or something like that, but no. Yeah. It's everyone else that dies. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, I still can't get over, um, Jack... Jack's last words. Mm -hmm. The name. Rolo. Yeah, yeah, Rolo. Oh. Something, something. You wanted to meet here? That was a really good reveal, too. Yeah. So cool. it. I thought Sid Hutchins was Hutchins is dead. Oh, shit. They, they both it's got a set up. It's yeah, a setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. It cannot be a bad guy wins movie. I don't want it to be. No. But, like,. Dudley's got so many people, it seems like. Yeah, and there's no one left to tell the story. We don't even know who they're fighting. They just we just know that it's like well, cops the only people that were going to show up. It's going to be Dudley's people. Yeah, but like who which which cops are on his side, you know? Like Yeah, I'm just curious of like the people that we saw at the station and stuff like Oh, it was actually. Actually, it, it might even mo be more likely to be higher muscle, right? Because mm. he would have a hard time explaining why we just suddenly shot our scary guy and our hero cop. Yeah. To the rest of the team. I mean, he didn't have a hard time with with Jack. You okay? <sighs> yeah. Oh. Move. Oh, he got shot in the shoulder. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. Shit! Oh. oh! After I've done, that'll make you chief of detectives. Yes. Yes. There we go. Although it does make me really sad to see James Cromwell <laughs> cripple over like that. <laughs> Can he explain everything? Your golden boy is throwing his whole life away. Three night owl suspects who, along with former LAPD officer Leland Buzz Meeks. Captain Smith has been assuming control mm -hmm. of organized crime in the city of Los Angeles. Captain Smith admitted as much to me before I shot him. Oh, shit. So at the very beginning of the movie, when we saw people going around, like, shooting some, like, people, and then there was that briefcase of, hair, like, uh, drugs, mm -hmm. that was Stenson and Meeks. To Detective Lieutenant Edmund Exley, Two-time Medal of Valor recipient. And Los Angeles will finally have the police force it deserves. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, he is tough. Others 
just get X hookers and trip to Arizona. And I'm glad these two are not together because I thought that's weird. Yeah, was I was like, I were. was super weirded out. I did not like that if that was the case, but I'm really glad it's not. Mm hmm. That was great. Yeah, that was a really good movie. And it, that, it, oh man, it was looking really bleak for a while though. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that it, it ended the way it did, but. Like, yeah, because oh. I, 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 I was expecting bittersweet. Right. And I really didn't want a bad ending. It was, well, it seemed so hopeless. Yeah. Like when you, like, what do you do when you're trying to like do the right thing and then like you can't trust anybody and it, it mm -hmm. freaks the shit out of me. And also like, it, cause it was, it was reaching to a point of frustration where three people wanted the same thing. Yeah. And yeah. they just wouldn't talk to each other. And finally oh. when two of them do, one of them <laughs> dies. Oh man. Oh. But, but like um when when Bud went to confront Exley, like that was because of the outcome, event the eventual outcome, it was that was mm. that scene was really great. Like the fighting mm. and then like finally Yeah, you know, clearing the air and being like, Okay, actually this is what's going on, we need to work yeah. together. That was so great. I can't believe that when um when Jack and and Exley like went to that the scene and those mm. guys were putting the shotguns into the car. Yes. That was yeah. amazing. Like the fact that yeah. like I had no I n didn't even cross my mind that that's could that, that could be what they're doing. Well cuz cuz yeah and it's cuz it's really clever the way that it was like um cuz only two scenes prior was when the captain sends everybody off in pairs to yeah. knock on every door. So you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense that some of them will run into each other. Yeah. And <sighs> so then it never even crossed my mind that they would be planting. Oh my God. So and, good. And it also makes sense why that one guy was so willing and so quickly to shoot. Yes. Because he was sent out to plant and execute. Yes. Oh my God. This movie is really smart. I love the way that we were given information in the reveals. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, I have to talk about it again, but the, the, um, Jack's last word, like, yeah, Rolo. What is it? Like Rolo, Rolo de, Tomasi? De, de Masi? Yeah. I don't know. Something but that, like that, that, yeah. that was maybe one of my favorite moments. And then again, when, when guy and when Exley, uh, said it again to Dudley, Mm -hmm. That was great too because it gave him a little extra time because Dudley still thought that it was a real player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, hmm. uh, Kevin Spacey has been, especially in the 90s and early 2000s, has been given consecutively the best line reveals. Yeah. Right? Totally. There's Rolo Tomasi here, and then there's the end of Usual Suspect when he, yeah. like. <laughs> You know, that reveal, and then there's him going, Detective! <laughs> Yelling at seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like a pretty little head. <laughs> um, also, I have to, I, I mean, yes, bad person, but his death, mm -hmm. very well done. I don't know if they like pause the frame or something. I don't know how they do that, but like mm -hmm. the hit, like very well done. Alrighty. That wraps up this episode of uh, Cine Binge. <laughs> what were you going to say? I don't even know. It started with an F. <laughs> that, that's, the that's the episode of <laughs> uh, We'd like to thank our patrons. Murky Kraken, Nate Gavin, Nate Crowdy, uh, Nathan Jasper, Nita Rodriguez, uh, Nico Dimas, 944, uh, Thomas, Papa and Yeti, Really Toxic, Samuel Black, uh, Sark CC, Get though uh, <laughs> Scott Wasserman, Senek, uh, Shane Frisco, Shroom Dad, Simplexity, Spencer Ramsey, and the Council of Sean. Thank you all very ah, much. <laughs> See you next time.